Why do you go in the canoe? Well, if I take you out, we'll just go in the reef, but in the big sailing canoes, you can go pretty much anywhere. How about Iowa? Iowa? I don't think the canoe can go to Iowa because there's no ocean in, on the land. I saw an ocean in Iowa. Maybe it was a lake? No, it was an ocean. Are you sure it wasn't California? Yeah, maybe California? Mm-mm, it was not California. I'm serious, it is Iowa. Maybe we should take a canoe and go there. What do you think? Mm-hmm. We'll try? <laughs> Are you sure there's an ocean there? Yeah, maybe it was a lake, but I'm pretty sure it was an ocean. Oh, maybe it was a lake. Hi. Hey, yeah. it's just it's so deep. <laughs> so, what's your name? No one. And how old are you? Five. Well, my name is Rob Lemtiako, and I'm 58. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you think I'm old? Yeah, I think you're young. <laughs> I am young. Yes, that's right, yeah. Do you want to take a guess at what I do? Do you measure the stars? That's very close, yeah. Do you wayfind? Oh, wow, wayfind? Yeah, yeah. Well, I also carve canoes and I sail them. And do you want to hear how I was able to do that? Mm -hmm. A long time ago, I met a man named Tun Segundo Blas, and he was a carver here on Guam, and I went to school with him and watched him carve, and that was how I first learned here on Guam, and that was 36 years ago. A long time ago, when the Chamorros first came to Guam, they had a lot of navigators and a lot of canoe builders and a lot of canoes, and do you know how that died out? Yeah. Well, what happened was the uh, Spaniards came and there was war between the Chamorros and the Spanish and one of the things they needed to kill off was our canoe culture. Canoe that, culture? Yeah, that made us strong because we lived along the coast and we could talk to each other that way and see each other and organize. And so for a long time, we didn't have any of that. But recently, some people from different islands have helped us and shared their canoe culture with us, so we're getting it back and we have them to thank. And a lot of what I know came from those islands, especially Puloat. Do you know where Chuk is? Mm -mm. Oh, it's an island group south of us, but that's where Puloat is. And I spent a lot of time there learning how to carve canoes and to navigate. And that takes a long time because you have to spend a lot of time with older people so they can teach you. If you wanted to learn how to carve a canoe, what kind of things do you what do you think you would need to know? Chop wood. Yes! Chop down trees for the sides of the boat. Oh man, you are one smart guy. That's right. And for the sail. For the sail, that's right, yeah. You'd have to learn those things. And if you wanted to become a navigator and get on the canoe that you carved with the sail and go somewhere, what kind of things would you need to learn? Uh, They're up in the sky at night. Stars. Yeah. Measure right. the stars. Yeah, that's right. You need to learn about the stars. Why do you need to know the stars? Well, because those are the things that guide us from one place to another. So at night, when the stars come up, we can look at certain stars and they'll tell us where to go. So it's almost like a road map. Oh. Isn't that More cool? More like a sky map. <laughs> Future navigator, yes, a sky map. That's right. And what other things up in the sky can we look at to navigate with? Mm. Beside the stars, what do you think is up in the daytime? The sun. The sun, that's right. And at night, there's a big light, a big round one. What is that? Moon. The moon, yeah. And then there's, during the day, what is that? Wind. Wind, yeah. And, oh, did you see the movie Moana? Yes. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I well, finished it so many times, I don't think I could watch it anymore. <laughs> It was in the movie with the ocean when it makes big waves. Yeah, and the current, that's right. Wow, you really are smart. I think you'd make a good navigator. I actually go fishing. You go fishing too? Well, that's part of being a navigator is you want to catch fish at, on the canoe so we can eat, right? I don't catch fish. I, only, I catch fish, but I don't eat fish. I only eat fish nuggets. 
fish nuggets. Okay. How long does it take from here to get to another island? Well, what island do you want to go to? Mm, Hawaii. Oh boy, that's going to take a long, long time. You only need a plane. I'm going to take a plane because I want to make a sand castle. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's say, let's pretend we're going from Guam to Saipan. About 150 miles with really good weather. That could take maybe a day or two. With bad weather, it could take a lot longer. It depends on how long the journey is and how good the weather is. What do you do on the canoe when you get bored? Mm, well, sometimes you can sleep if you're not the navigator and you can talk and you can eat and you can tell stories. Uh, what kind of stories? Oh, really good stories. Like ghost stories. Yeah, you can tell ghost stories. You can tell stories about spirits that live out in the ocean, good spirits and bad spirits. The only bad spirit is a shark. There are some bad spirit sharks, but then there are some good spirit sharks there too. Like the whale shark. Yes. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. What kind of person do you think a navigator is? Uh, mouse. Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think so. I saw a show when Goofy and Mickey went out to sea. Did they have fun? Yes. Yeah. A navigator also needs to know how to have fun too. But also on the canoe, he has to take care of people, right? Because he's the one that's going to get the canoe from one island to the next. So, do you think he's the kind of person that knows how to take care of people? Mm -hmm. Make sure they're safe? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Thank you, Uncle Rob. Thank you too, it was nice talking to you, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right, talking to each other? Yeah, will you go sailing with me sometime? Mm -hmm. Really? Seriously? Okay, shake on it. That's a deal. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. And cut. <laughs> oh. For more content like this, subscribe to Nihi Kids on YouTube.